Good morning, folks. We've got news from Deep Space, a review of the most important 2017 earthquake statistic of the year, and weather worries as well. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're taking a look at the last 24 hours and seeing it was a very calm day on our star. No solar flares, no plasma filaments ejecting in Earth's direction. In fact, the only ejection we did have, plasma filament, left over the northeastern incoming limb. Solar wind here, and you can see we never really got much more intense, never hit 500 kilometers per second, and so the one bit of instability we had is it so far. You can see that the disruption we had as the year changed from 2017 to 2018 far dwarfs what we've got this morning. We do see that next coronal hole system coming in from the left. It is a northern extension that does appear to reach down at least somewhat close to the equator. Folks, here is that earthquake statistic that we talked about for the majority of the last couple weeks of the year. There were only seven magnitude 7 earthquakes throughout the entire year, and one of those was an aftershock. We expect 18 of them a year, about one every 20 days, and yet we went six months without one right in the middle. Winter weather woes continue for some. Hopefully you weren't one of the folks who tried to go skiing in France for the new year. We also had a couple of flood-based stories river breaching its banks, taking out 800 homes in the Philippines, and a very similar situation taking place in Indonesia as well, water-laden streets there. The two most important weather concerns for the day come to, first, Europe. You can see that system coming out of the Atlantic is pretty relentless, not going to stop for a few days. And then we have about a day of break down under, but watch the storm heading for New Zealand. That one probably won't get there until Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon, but eyes on it, it's coming. Let's look back in time to November 29th. We saw a great article about how the powerful magnetic fields of a galaxy, generated from the galaxy center, actually control star formation. Well, this morning, we have confirmation of that science from another group, and this brings together an interesting bit of theory in terms of an electrical galaxy because, if you'll recall, we just had that paper describing how the active galactic nuclei jets are like coaxial cables with current in the center and wrapped fields around. I do so love that helical structure. Anyway, registration for Observing the Frontier 2018 is ending soon. In a couple hours later today, we'll have a video coming out with all of the information about the conference, including the schedule. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we will do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.